All right, so all we've done so far is take out the two seats. All right, they're nice and easy. There's four bolts uh, and then just one plug on both seats and take the seats out. The reason for that is we need to move the seats back and forwards to get the bolts out, but then we need to disconnect the battery. So take the seats out and we go to the battery. All right, so we're gonna take the negative terminal off, undo the 10 mil on top, and just use something to cover the terminal. So come make connection like that. And for the positive, we're gonna leave it on. We're gonna be using this stud for the positive of the amp. Now we can go back inside the car and start taking the center console out. All right, so for all these interior bolts, you just need a seven mil socket. So for this panel, we're gonna get a panel popper down here. We're just gonna come out with it on this side. And the other side, grab it like this, come up and slide out. Okay, so that's easy. So you take it out, there's one clip at the bottom here. There you go. Take the two bolts out. And we're gonna take these two panels out. Now we've got the cover for the gear lever with three bolts underneath it. And we're gonna take this panel out. So it just comes straight up. Now we've got three bolts to take the wireless charger out. So one, two, and three. You're just gonna grab hold of it, up and out. And there's one plug. And then you got this panel that comes out as well. We have one clip here as well, which we wanna undo. So there is two bolts down there so you, you don't need to take these out there's just two in there one here one on the other side now that we've taken these bolts out we're going to be removing the side panels from the screen both on the drive side and on the passenger side so we'll start with this side so we want to take this cover off there's going to be a bolt here to remove this whole area So we want to remove this bolt, the two screws up inside the top glove box. Okay, so this whole panel is going to be coming out, including the top glove box, this around, uh, the whole thing comes out and the handle here as well. So we just pop the glove box open, just pull here. There you go, and there is a plug on the back. Okay, all right, with this side we have the same panel. The 
so with this one we have to take this lower panel off it's on hinges so you just undo the top unclip it out there you go and there's a plug down here there's a plug here see this clip you want to push that clip in so the plug falls out we're just going to undo this plug that will clear this harness and then we can remove this whole panel all the way up to the head unit okay so we want to bring the steering wheel down all the way down and then we we'll start here and just pull the whole panel out Now we can take this out, just pops out, and one plug. We have two more bolts for the head unit, so one here, one on this side. Now we can take this top panel off, just pops up, and there's two more bolts up top. So that's pretty much it. Now we can take the center console out. Okay, so we've come up with the back of the console and gone back with the whole thing. Now we're gonna undo some plugs at the front. So there's plugs for your USB chargers and then the whole console will come out of the car. I take the last two bolts out. Alright, so we've got the three harnesses. You gotta be super careful with this uh, pink one. So we're going to take these four bolts out. Take these two plugs out. Get the harnesses out of the way. And this comes up. Now, super careful. There is an antenna plug on this corner that is very small and easy to break so you just want to be really careful and unplug that one first and then two plugs on the drive side okay so that's the head unit out nice and easy well it's not nice and easy so i'm going to take that back